On this episode of What's Going On With Shipping, the growth of the container fleet capacity. Oh, hi there. I'm Sal Mercagliano, the host of What's Going On With Shipping. I just happened to be going through my Twitter feed, and one of my follows is Rafa Lerner. Uh, Rafa is the CEO of Easy Fresh Global, and he posts some great information all the time on Twitter, just some great info on containers in particular. And one of the charts he posted not too long ago was a graphic that showed basically the increase in container capacity of the world's container fleet over several years. And I said to myself, Sal, that is a good idea for a video. So let's go ahead and do it. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a second, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Now, the global container, the intermodal container, is a fairly new invention. It's been around for roughly about 70 years, since 1956, when Malcolm McLean, a truck driver from beautiful Maxton, North Carolina, about 50 miles that way from me, really introduced it with the first vessel, the SS Ideal X. The Ideal X could carry 58 33-foot containers. And since then, container ships have increased in capacity up to the current Ever A class, the Ever Alock class. They can carry over 24,000 TEUs. Those are 20-foot equivalent units. And not only has the size of vessels increased, but the amount of containers that can be carried at sea has increased. And there's no better way to demonstrate that than I'm not going to show you a graph or a chart. That's, that's, that's terrible. You really don't get it. You need something physical. And if you want physical, we use Lego blocks. Lego blocks are the way to do it. This Lego block represents a half a million containers. A full Lego block, eight little dots on it, repre represents a million containers or a million TEUs, 20 foot equivalent units. And in 1980, the top 20 container companies, the top 20 carried a half a million containers. That is the amount of containers. Now think about it, 1980, you fast forward from 1956. That is a, not a huge span, 24 years right there. And you're going from carrying 58 containers on a single vessel to a half a million containers across on the top 20 ocean carriers. Let's fast forward 20 years from then. Let's go to the year 2000. In the year 2000, the top 20 carriers are carrying three and a half million TEUs. Three and a half million TEUs. So in 20 years, you have increased sevenfold in what you can carry. That is a pretty substantial jump, you see. And so you go from half a million in 1980 to three and a half million in the year 2000. That year 2000 isn't that far from us, just 22 years, almost 23 years now from us. So pretty close to us. Let's fast forward to the year 2007. Year 2007, top 20 carriers again. Wow. They're carrying eight and a half million TEUs. Eight and a half million TEUs. Remember, just go back to 1980 and you've got half a million. 2000, three and a half million. 2007, eight and a half million TEU. That's a pretty good jump there from 20 years to seven years. Let's jump to 2023. This is the latest data provided by Alpha Liner. I'll have the link in the show notes so you can take a look at it. What are the capacity today? Hang on a second. Ugh. Hello. Wait a minute, Sal. That doesn't look right. It was eight and a half million in 2007. And you're telling me in 2023, it's eight and a half million. Yes, it is. It's eight and a half million. But this represents not the top 20 companies as this does. This represents just the top two companies. This represents the combined capacity of Mediterranean Shipping Company, MSC, and Maersk Lines. And so when you start looking at these numbers, you start seeing it. If I add in here the other top eight, not top 20, but the next top eight container companies in 2023. Hang on, it's too big. This is the capacity of the top 10 container liners 
in 2023, we're talking about 22 million TEU. 22 million. This is across the top 10 ocean carriers. Now, I should mention that the top 10 ocean carriers here, come on over here to my microphone. The top 10 ocean carriers here divide these up into three alliances. And that's what we're going to look at next. So beyond the number difference, which is substantial, as you can see, we're at almost 26 and a half million TEU capacity going into 2023. Again, compare that with the top 20 companies back in 1980 with just a half a million uh, TEU capacity. We've grown tremendously, but the way those numbers are divided up is substantial. So one of the things you see is the top nine companies in containerization are organized into alliances and the alliances are key alliances allow you to pool your resources together and there's three of these big alliances so the smallest of the alliances is the alliance they represent five million containers and there's four companies that are represented in the alliance there's one with about 1.5 million teus there's yang min with 0 0.7 million teus there's hmm with 0 0.8 million and hop hog lloyd with 1.8 million that comes to 4.8 million but roughly about 5 million containers that is in the alliance. The next alliance is the Ocean Alliance. That is the second biggest. Represents nearly 8 million containers. And these 8 million containers are divided between three companies. You have CMA, CGM, a French company. They have roughly about 3.4 million TEUs. There's Costco, the Chinese overseas shipping company. This is from mainland China, the PRC. They have 2.9 million and then Evergreen, which is 1.6 million TEUs. So 5 million TEUs in the Alliance, 8 million in the Ocean Alliance. The biggest alliance, as I mentioned to you earlier, was that marriage between Mediterranean shipping and Maersk Lines. And that is almost 9 million TEUs. Almost 9 million TEUs. And that's pretty substantial. And I would add a couple of other things in here too. Uh, Maersk also has an agreement with Zim. Zim is the 10th largest shipping company. Zim and Maersk and MSC have an informal agreement where the half a million TEUs from Zim kind of play a role here. So we're going to kind of put that up there, give them kind of a little bit of a crown right there. The remaining 4 million TEUs are spread among a variety of different companies uh, coming in at 29th is the wholly owned U.S. company of Matson. Uh, Matson represents a fraction of a percent. And this represents a million. This represents a half a million. Uh, if you want to represent a 60,000.3%, uh, hang on. Let's go for a real Lego brick. And this will be... Matt's in line right there. So this is it. This is container capacity across the fleet in 2022 going into 2023. You have it organized in three big alliances. You have it across the board here in terms of scope and scale. We've gotten quite big since that little half million in 2080, uh, excuse me, 1980, and much larger than what you saw Malcolm McLean create back in 1956. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, share it across social media, give it a thumbs up, and if you can, support the page. How do you do that? Well, you can hit the super thanks button below. That allows you to contribute directly to the page or head on over to Patreon where you can become a patron of the page. You can become a yearly or monthly monthly subscriber. Obviously, your money goes to buying me big, huge Lego blocks so that I can do these demonstrations. Actually, I got to get this back to my son before he realizes they're missing. Until our next video, this is Sal signing off behind the Lego blocks. Bye.